Baghdad 2003. The reign of Saddam Hussein is over. The Americans are in command, and no one is in control. Former cop turned military contractor Christopher Henry knows that better than anyone. He's in country to train up a new Iraqi police force, and one of his recruits has just been murdered. With civil authority in tatters and dead bodies clogging the streets, Chris is the only person in the green zone with any interest in finding out who killed him and why. Chris's inquiry brings him to Sophia, an American-raised Iraqi who now sits on the governing council, and then to Nasir, a grizzled veteran of Saddam's police force, and probably the last real investigator left in Baghdad. United by death, but divided by conflicting loyalties, the three must help each other navigate the treacherous landscape of post-invasion Iraq in order to hunt down the killers. But are their efforts really serving justice, or a much darker agenda? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. I am your host, Giovanni Menendez, and today I bring you a very weird review. And why am I calling it weird? Because typically, I never read these type of stories, but something drew me in and said, you know what? You gotta read this one, because it's special. Damn if it ain't. Oh my god, this was an amazing experience, and of course I am talking about the first volume of Vertigo's highly acclaimed Sheriff of Babylon. Wow, folks, right out of the gate. I gotta tell you guys, this is a must read. It is fantastic. Even if you don't like war, crime stories, and all that stuff, it's still such an engrossing read. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if this book suddenly got turned into a big ass Hollywood movie or something like that. It has that cinematic ooze and flair dripping that just tingles your nerd bone. You know what I'm talking about? So where to begin with Sheriff of Babylon? Let's talk a little bit about the essence of the book. This is a war crime book. It is uh, done by Vertigo by the amazing author Tom King. If you don't know who Tom King is, he has written some excellent material over at Marvel. He wrote the highly acclaimed Vision series. Over at DC, he's written the awesome, highly acclaimed as well series, uh, The Omega Men. And now he's writing the DC Rebirth Batman title. This guy knows his stuff. He is an excellent writer, of course, author himself being an ex-CIA officer working in Iraq. This guy knows his stuff, and uh, correct me guys if I'm wrong, I do believe this whole series had to be like pre-approved by uh, the government. There are many war stories, many uh, military comics and the like. I'm not really a fan of it. I prefer the more fantastical elements, you know, aside from the superhero stuff and all that. This isn't on my radar, but for some reason, everybody was talking about it, and I just said, you know what? Screw it. 2017, I might as well go big or go home and try reading other cool stuff uh, outside my comfort zone and bring you guys some great reviews on books such as this. Now, Sheriff of Babylon, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, Christopher Henry is a former cop and he's turned military contractor. He's being shipped over to Iraq to train the new police force that's going to take over in this post-invasion Iraq era whatnot back in 2004. But I will mention that the setting of Iraq is a very interesting one because it is such a polarizing and such a strong region with so much history of conquest and violence and unsettledness and people trying to figure out how to live life in there must be so random, so hellish that I can't even begin to fathom. But this book, I think it does a pretty damn good job of setting up a snapshot of what it must, must have been like in that year living in there and you see it with the way the streets are empty you know everybody I'm, I'm guessing everybody's afraid to go out um, the paranoia of who was pro and against the uh, Hussein uh, regime and all that stuff and you've got characters like Chris who is or Christopher who is actually a genuinely nice guy 
trying to do his best. You know, he's being paid to do something and he's going to do it. He's training these cops and one of them is murdered. Now, as of this recording, this is an ongoing series. I make the foolish assumption to think like, hey, this is a one-off six issue series. I'll be done with it and I can bring a full review about it. Not really, because I just ordered volume two not too long ago. I am really excited to find out what happens and as the story progresses and you start figuring out which characters doing what and their allegiances and all that stuff. Characters like Chris, Nazir, and Sophia, they are fantastic. Chris, like I mentioned, is doing the best that he can with what limited resources he has. And of course, he can't push up the ladder too much because nobody wants to give him the answers. Murders like this is on such a turbulent era, time, it's just best to be swept under the rug, I guess. We'll see how that pans out. And then you've got characters like Nasir, who's really interesting. And I really want to find out what's up with this guy. Cause uh, yeah, he seems like that Charles Bronson-esque uh, lone wolf badass and trying to figure out, you know, are these guys okay? Can I trust this Chris fella? He has a shady past being the former, one of the former heads of the previous police department over at the uh, Saddam era, if you will. And then you got Sophia, who is just a beautiful character and an utter badass. One of the one of my favorite characters in the whole book, and she's not afraid to tell it like it is. It is a beautiful, masterful book. Tom King just nails it. Obviously, from his past experiences, he brings a sense of depth and realism that is very rarely seen in comic books. It just brings a real sense of grittiness and a high attention to detail that is rarely seen in other comic books, it straight up plays out like a movie. Each scene, each transition between one panel to the other is very refreshing. It's a very clean book. All these panels, man, they just have this sense of fluidity and it seriously reads like I'm looking at a storyboard from a live action movie. That's how great it is in my opinion. The writing is top notch, like I said before. All the characters are super realistic. They bring you into this world. Tom King is able to place you in the shoulders of Chris and you're experiencing things from his perspective and you're watching things play out and you're, you get anxious reading it. And that was one of my main positives of this book. I was really anxious flipping page after page, not knowing what the hell was gonna happen. And that very rarely happens in a comic book because as well the nature of the beast I guess you know uh, the tropes and all that stuff so you know how things might end up but with this especially not knowing anything beforehand trust me guys you are in for a ride some things happen in there that I was not expecting some people die others live crazy stuff is happening inside these pages that I can't show you because I don't want to spoil it for you guys oh and by the way I have not mentioned about uh, Mitch Gerards I think I said that right if not I am so sorry for butchering that name the art is just pristine and just beautiful to look at obviously it's not the cleanest of places because because it is a war-torn place especially the green zones in uh, militaristic terms they're not going to be pretty and you're seeing this post-invasion Iraq that is still in shambles everything is so messed up and just uh, the usage of browns and grayish and all that stuff really bring life into this place into Iraq and Baghdad specifically where you feel like you're in there I think this is a very gruesome but poignant book that uh, especially in today's time I think it is a worthy read I think Tom King is writing his butt off with this book and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it great writing fantastic art just an overall great sense of realism the only negative I would point towards this book is the fact that on some pages I had to double or even triple read because I was a little bit confused I don't know my terminology uh, of the uh, Middle East and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, Sheriff, the Sheriff of Babylon, one of the best reads I've had in a while. Volume one, bang, bang, bang. You gotta get it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and doing all that awesome stuff that you guys do. So many new subscribers. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you know when new 
videos are coming. And as always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and many more. Just type a week and geek them and I'm there for you guys. All right, I gotta go. I got more stuff to read and review and talk about with all of you. So I will catch you on our next video. Thank you for tuning in to another installment. You can keep the conversation going through your favorite social media platform. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter. Like our fan page on Facebook. And favorite our pics on Instagram. You can also write to us for feedback, suggestions, and such via a week in geekdom at gmail.com. Until next time.